Orbit Rescue, Space Jump Cleanup the rapid growth of space exploration and satellite deployment has ushered in a new era of innovation and connectivity. However, this progress has also brought with it a significant challenge. Space junk. Also known as orbital debris, space junk refers to the millions of pieces of discarded materials left in Earth's orbit from defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments from collisions. This debris poses a serious threat to active satellites, space missions, and even the safety of astronauts. The increasing accumulation of space junk has led to the development of orbit rescue missions focused on space junk cleanup, which aim to remove debris from orbit and protect the future of space exploration. The growing problem of space junk. Since the first satellite, Sputnik, was launched in 1957, space missions have generated a vast amount of debris. Today, there are over 34,000 pieces of space junk larger than 10 centimeters in diameter and millions of smaller fragments orbiting Earth. These objects travel at speeds of up to 28,000 kilometers per hour, which makes even the smallest pieces dangerous. A collision with a tiny fragment can cause significant damage to satellites or spacecraft, leading to the loss of valuable assets or the disruption of essential services. One of the most concerning aspects of space junk is the Kessler Syndrome. Proposed by NASA scientist Donald Kessler in 1978, this scenario suggests that as the amount of debris in orbit increases, the likelihood of collisions will rise, creating a cascade effect. Each collision generates more debris, which in turn increases the chances of further collisions. This chain reaction could render certain orbits unusable, trapping satellites in a debris-filled environment and making future space missions extremely hazardous. The Challenges of Cleaning Up Space Junk Removing space junk from orbit is a complex and technically challenging task. Several key obstacles must be overcome to effectively address the issue. Tracking and Identifying Debris The first step in cleaning up space junk is to track and identify the debris. Organizations like the United States Space Surveillance Network SSN, and private companies monitor larger pieces of debris using radar and optical telescopes. However, tracking smaller fragments which are still capable of causing damage is more difficult and requires advanced detection systems. Capture and Removal Technologies Developing technologies to safely capture and remove space debris is a major challenge. Several methods have been proposed including nets, robotic arms, and harpoons. Each approach has its limitations. For example, using a net requires precise targeting and maneuvering, while robotic arms need to be capable of gripping irregularly shaped objects. Once the debris is captured, it must be deorbited or moved to a graveyard orbit, where it poses less risk. Cost and sustainability. Space cleanup missions are expensive and require significant investment. The cost of developing, launching, and operating debris removal technologies is high, and the question of who should bear these expenses is still unresolved. Additionally, any solution must be sustainable and scalable to address the ongoing generation of debris as new satellites and space missions are launched. Active Degrees Removal ADR. ADR involves capturing and removing large pieces of space junk from orbit. One approach under development is the use of space tugs, small, maneuverable spacecraft that can attach to debris and either deorbit it or move it to a less congested orbit. For example, the European Space Agency's ESA, Clear Space One mission, scheduled for launch in 2025, aims to use a robotic arm to capture a defunct satellite and bring it down into Earth's atmosphere, where it will burn up. Laser Ablation Another approach to space junk removal is the use of ground-based or space-based lasers to ablate debris. In this method, a laser beam is directed at a piece of space junk, vaporizing a small portion of its surface. The resulting thrust from the vaporization alters the debris orbit, causing it to eventually re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and burn up. Laser ablation offers a non-contact method of debris removal, reducing the risk of creating additional fragments. Electrodynamic Tethers Electrodynamic tethers are long conductive wires that generate electricity when they move through Earth's magnetic field. This electricity can be used to alter the orbit of a piece of debris, either slowing it down to bring it into the atmosphere or raising it to a higher, safer orbit. Tethers are an attractive solution because they require no propellant and can be used for long durations. However, the technology is still in the experimental stage. Harpoon and Net Systems Harpoons and nets are designed to physically capture space debris, for example, the removed EEBRIS mission led by the Surrey Space Center successfully tested both a net and a harpoon system in 2018. The net was deployed to capture a small piece of debris while the harpoon was used to spear a target and secure it for removal. These systems offer a direct approach to capturing debris, but they require precise targeting and control. Self-disposal mechanisms 
In addition to removing existing debris, there is a growing emphasis on designing satellites and space missions with end-of-life disposal mechanisms. For example, satellites can be equipped with propulsion systems that allow them to deorbit themselves at the end of their operational life. Alternatively, satellites could carry drag sails that increase atmospheric drag, causing them to re-enter the atmosphere more quickly. These self-disposal mechanisms help prevent the creation of new debris. International Collaboration and Policy The global nature of space junk requires international collaboration and robust policy frameworks to effectively address the issue. International Guidelines and Agreements Organizations like the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs UNOSA, have developed guidelines for debris mitigation, such as the Space Debris Mitigation Guidelines of the Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space COPUS. These guidelines encourage spacefaring nations to adopt practices that minimize the creation of new debris, such as deorbiting defunct satellites and avoiding intentional fragmentation. Liability and Responsibility Establishing clear liability and responsibility for space debris is critical. The 1972 Convention on International Liability for Damage Caused by Space Objects outlines the framework for liability in the event of damage caused by space objects, but the growing problem of space debris necessitates further refinement and enforcement of these principles. Countries and companies must be held accountable for the debris they generate and participate in cleanup efforts. Public-Private Partnerships Addressing the space junk problem will require collaboration between governments, international organizations, and private companies. Public-private partnerships can help pool resources, share knowledge, and drive innovation in debris removal technologies. For example, initiatives like the World Economic Forum's Space Sustainability Rating aim to incentivize responsible behavior among space operators by rating their efforts to reduce debris. The Future of Space Cleanup Efforts As humanity's presence in space continues to expand, the need for effective space junk cleanup efforts will only grow. The development and deployment of debris removal technologies combined with international collaboration and regulatory frameworks will be essential to ensuring the long-term sustainability of space activities. Without proactive measures, the risks posed by space junk could stifle the growth of the space industry and jeopardize the benefits that space exploration brings to society. The Order Rescue missions represent a critical step toward addressing the growing problem of space junk. By developing and deploying innovative technologies, fostering international collaboration, and establishing robust regulatory frameworks, the global community can work together to ensure the safety and sustainability of space activities. The challenge of cleaning up space junk is immense, but with concerted efforts, it is a challenge that can be met.